everyone, my name is Anne Yokten. I'm back with Paranoia. Uh, so we have we have through the first day and night, and uh, well, I don't really know what to do anymore. I checked every room. I don't know. Do I have any clue? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, diary. No, that's the diary. And I have an illness. Great, isn't it? Okay, let's go down here. I don't know. What should I do? No. Okay. Okay, maybe I should go. Go out. Hello. Oh, okay. Just a bird. Ooh, some pretty flowers. Huh? Actually, they are, these are artificial. Outside. Dig them out. Of course you dig them out. There's a reason they're there. A key. Auntie, why did you bury, bury this here? Okay, so we have... We have... We have a key to an unknown room, yes. That's likely my... That's very likely of my grandma. Okay. Um, I think we should we should try. No, we should try the key. The key that opens some door. No, not this one. <laughs> was that closed? No. I think that one was closed or locked. Yes. Yeah, not here. How many locked doors do I have left? There's one down there. And... No, I don't want to go in there anymore. Okay, with the computer and I don't know the code. It's locked. Okay, may maybe I can use... No. <laughs> with my search. Okay, let's search this room one more time. Maybe there's something. There must be something here. Cleaning supplies. Box. Chair. Chair. But actually, there's nothing really here. Uh, shavers and such. Why are there? Why are these there? Shavers. What's that? A key! Yeah! Found another key! For what room? Well, let's find out! We have plenty of rooms. Still locked. Paused, Meg. <laughs> okay, that was just a doorbell. Just a doorbell. <laughs> that scared me so much. Who's there? Okay. Who are you? Uh, excuse me, is this Miss uh, Miki Takamura's house? Uh, yes. Who are you? I'm Shinji Mura from across the street. I don't think that that sounds really fit him, but <laughs> it seems they misdelivered your luggage to me. <laughs> oh, sorry to trouble you. Well, I'm already stumped for it. Okay, I will read it regularly. <laughs> okay, I will just read it normally because that's hilarious. Okay. The delivery person didn't even seem to notice. <laughs> this luggage is rather heavy. If you let me in, I carry it for you. No, you're not coming in. I'm, I'm telling you, you're not coming in. Uh, no, um, no, you, you shouldn't. I, I carry it myself. Oh, please, don't worry about me. I'm used to physical labor. Well, well, all right. All right. Thank you for... There we go. 
I just can't put it here, yes? What? <laughs> I can just put it here, yes? Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. Um, I wish I could thank you. How about some tea? Okay, I was thinking something more uh, explicit, but okay. Tea would be fine. Very well then. It's like an old man. I sound like an old man. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. So, you're a writer, Mr. Kamura. That's amazing. I'm not that great. No, no. I'd like to write li real rich. Ri <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to write real literature, but I have no talent. I can only write these stupid romance novels. Uh, now, don't say that. I I can respect anyone who makes a living from writing. So, what are you doing here? Um, it's for a lot lot of reasons. It's for a lot of reasons, but mainly for recuperation, recuperation, recuperation. I know what that means, but I don't really know how to how to how to you know pronounce it. Anyway, Re okay, okay, say the say the word I can't pronounce. Okay, you mean from an illness. <laughs> Yes, but it's not, not a serious one. I knew the house's previous owner, and it's empty, so I'm living here. Are uh, you sir? <laughs> are you referring to Miss Aiki? You knew her. Yes, she was my. Yeah, she was my aunt. She's passed away now. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss, but you're Miss Aiki's niece. You don't look much like her. Oh, uh, really? My relatives always said I did. Uh, well, Miss Aiki was rather odd, you see. How odd was she? Uh, I don't get the wrong idea, but... You would scream. She would scream oddly and wander at night. She was quite well known here. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, she was um, mentally ill. I'm sorry on her behalf. Oh no, no! I'm sorry for bringing it up. I should be going. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you for the tea. I'll be back. I'm on leave for an injured arm. What? So I have time on my hands, in a way. <laughs> I think it's funny. But it's, pr it's probably not funny. Call me if you need anything. It may be hard for a young woman to live alone in these parts. Uh, but um, I'm sure you will be fine. Well, you're right. I'm, I'm not used to it. I might ask if I need any help. Thanks for your concern. Okay. Bye. He seemed friendly and weird, but mostly because of my sound. <laughs> <laughs> I sort out the luggage now. Where, where, where did I put it? Oh, okay. So you do that on your own. Okay. That sure took a while. It's gotten so late. I'll take a shower and sleep. Are you sure? Last night was not so pleasant. Last night was very unpleasant, if I might add. Okay. The phone. The phone. Who is it at this hour? Ah! It's Mr. Hayakawa, isn't it? He shouldn't call this late! Okay. Day two. Okay. Now comes the night. Okay, please, 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 monster, please don't come. Please, monster, don't you come for me. Okay, it's not, it's not that. Okay. Shut up, phone. Mr. Hayakawa, I presume I tell him a thing or two.
What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Ah! Ah! No! This is weird, really weird, and that the monster yesterday. <laughs> I know where to hide. I know where to hide. Can I hide in here? Can I hide in here? No, I can't. And it's here. <laughs> I don't know where to hide. 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 Are you hiding here? <laughs> Please don't find me. Please don't find me. <laughs> Fuck. Please don't find me. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I don't want you to find me. Please leave. I'm not even here. I'm not even here. Okay. Okay. That was that was the right place to hide. <gasps> Looks like I fell asleep by hiding again. I think, I think we should hide. I, mean, I I think we should sleep in the closet somewhere. I should not sleep in my bed. My bed is a bad omen. My bed is a bad omen. <laughs> Classic. Looks like I've... Uh, okay, I read it. What on earth just... <sighs> okay, that was very intense. I'm sure that wasn't a dream. Yeah, it was not. It was not. Do you still have the copy of the of the of the fax machine? I'm sure that wasn't a dream, but I don't know what what it was. I think that would make a great story in a book. I can. I think you could earn tons of money by re writing that book. It could be a biography of a mad girl, a mad woman, a mad woman's biography, illness in my life or something like that something fancy titled I'm sure that wasn't a dream but I, I don't know what it was it's no wild dog it looks human like like some kind of zombie just what is it why why is it in this house and why is it after me I think it's a it's a family curse I'm sure mum wouldn't believe me and she wouldn't let me home <sighs> go home I guess <sighs> will it come back at night I guess it would I think it will it will come back eventually I want to take shelter but where <gasps> mm, did I just wait until it goes away do I just wait until it goes away just keep hiding until then <sighs> That fax, that, that fox from yesterday. What was that? Let's check it. It's always a good idea. Nope. Where's? Huh? It's the business proposal, like Ayakawa said. No hair at all. What is this? Okay, that makes me look bad. bad. That makes me look very bad and mad. Okay. No hair. Whatever. Whatever. What the hell? Okay, what's that? Okay. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya!